Hello, in this video we will learn how to convert a computer hard drive into a solenoid engine. As you can see we have here the reading head. This lever moves in this way and we will use this movement to make the rotor spin. The lever has a coil here and a neodymium magnet below and when it is energized it moves. So we need to find the terminals of the coil. Here we have the reading head assembly. Here you can see the coil and below the neodymium magnet. And here you can see the wires that come from the coil and go to these two points where we have to apply a voltage to move the lever. The two wires are now connected to the coil of the reading head and now if we apply a voltage the reading head moves. I have added these two wires and the plastic tube to couple them so the movement will be like this and the motor will work in this way when it is in this position we apply a voltage to the coil and the lever moves like this and makes the rotor turn but we need to apply voltage only from this position to this position and then disconnect and the motor will turn only by inertia. When it is again in this position we apply voltage again and give it another push and so on. So we need to figure out a way to connect and disconnect the coil at the precise moment when the force is needed. This is what I did. This wire is in contact with this other only on that part of the turn when we need energy in the coil. So the electricity flows from this wire to here and to the barrel that is in contact with one of the terminals of the coil. Ok, let's see the motor in action. I'm going to apply 9 volts. So there it is, the motor works pretty well, but this method of doing the switching with a wire is not optimal because it generates friction. In a forthcoming video I will use whole sensors to do the switching. Thanks for watching.